Butler County, where people in the Barrier Island communities are dealing with severe water damage to homes and beach erosion. Many homeowners got back to their properties yesterday, and the cleanup is just overwhelming. Channel 4's Nicole Schneider surveyed the hardest hit areas in Palm Coast, one of those in Sea Colony. The words can barely come out of Gerald Wright's mouth as he tears up while telling us about the damage throughout his home and neighborhood. This was all flooded? Yep, uh, all the way up about uh, three inches on the couch. Hurricane Matthew sent water to every area of his home, bringing the sand with it. Here's all the beach stuff. So this is your patio that was just flooded out? And that's just all the junk from the beach. You got water bottles, we got beer bottles, just got, debris, trash. <laughs> got everything. A couple of good logs, somebody's the garbage can, everything. The pavement on this street is invisible. It is disguised by mountains of sand just like this that came with the storm surge during Hurricane Matthew. A lot of people on this street are not only dealing with water damage, but they're dealing with sand and mud throughout their homes, damaging furniture, beds, and other belongings. Just losing stuff, throwing stuff away. It's almost as if Wright's home is turned inside out. He and his wife took golf clubs, shoes, rugs, and decorations into the yard to dry. Wright says he's lived in this house for more than 20 years, and he's never seen it in this condition. Yeah, give us a week and we'll, we'll for, try to forget about it. <laughs> Reporting from Palm Coast, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.